You want to see as much of the outback as you can in the comfort of your own private aircraft. Get on board with Phil from Outback by Air. This is the way to travel. Look. Last week, we flew from Sydney to Broken Hill, then over the mighty Flinders Ranges, South Lake Air and the Murray Man to the tiny outpost of William Creek in South Australia. We're up at sunrise for the next leg to visit the painted hills with local Trevor Wright. Tell us how it formed. Well, basically, at the inland sea, and this was a shoreline, and over millions of years, you've had this oxidisation of the sandstone, producing all these colours out here. You've got whites, you've got reds, browns, yellows, and that, along with the blue sky and the green of the bushes and the wildflowers, it's just spectacular. The hills are 30 kilometres long and 11 k's wide. It is one of the most beautiful landscapes in Australia. And then there's a lake, a really big one. There is no better way to see Lake Eyre. From the air, it's Australia's largest salt lake. And look at it, it stretches out as far as the eye can see. It really is so beautiful. It almost looks like ice. Tibberborough's next, the hottest outback town in New South Wales. We're in corner country, where New South Wales, South Australia and Queensland touch borders. Every good outback town has one or two pubs. Here is the Tibberborough Hotel, which the locals call Two Story. I think I know why. Two stories. Yes, it is. Genius. It's been two stories for 140 years. Built during the gold rush of the 1880s, the two story is still the only two story building in town. Tracy's the owner. I grew up in the hotel, so my grandfather owned it, and we bought it back in 2014. So, wow. renovating and putting some love back into it, yeah. The other pub in town is the family hotel. Pop in to see rooms filled with paintings by some of Australia's finest outback artists. In Louth, we drop into Dunlop Station. Once a million acre property, it was the first sheep station in Australia to use mechanical shears back in 1888. Kim lives here. How many sheep did he have on the property? Uh, ranged in uh, numbers from 100 to 500,000 sheep, depending on the season. 500,000 sheep? Yes. No wonder they needed a mechanical shearing device. The shed's still standing and there are plans to restore it. And what I love is you can still smell the lanolin in the wood. It smells so good. It's like they're still here, but they're not. But the queen of the desert out here is Liz at Trilby Station on the Darling River. The visitors love to come and just relax by the river. Just listen to the birds. Let's just do it right now because it is so tranquil. Mm. Oh, nothing beats that. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's beautiful. The Murray family has been running Merino sheep here for six generations. Liz, Trilby is a long way to come for a comfy bed. It is, but it is a very comfy bed with a wool doona. Oh, look at this beautiful shorn wool. But we've got about 14,500 grown merino sheep and about 9,000 lambs. And that's so. why you have a serious shearing shed like this. We do. We, ac we actually have about four <laughs> serious shearing sheds like this. But, uh... Stay in the shearers' quarters, camp or take a cabin. As Liz says, it's not five-star accommodation, but it is a five-star experience. Especially if Glenn McGrath is here. Australia's beloved fast bowler loves to fly, loves the outback, and is Phil's business partner in Outback by Air. I'm a country boy, sort of born and bred out in the bush, sort of narrow mind Dubbo area, and always love the country further west. And there's something special about getting out in the bush, and we can't travel overseas in the near future, mm -hmm. so get out and experience what a little bit, a little bit of what Australia has. Phil, you can get us to some pretty special places, yeah? Exactly, Lizzie. We can go from Birdsville to William Creek to Longreach and anywhere in between. Uluru? Uluru, even. Oh, it's the bucket list, tick, tick, yep. tick. There's another chance to see the Darling River in Birth. Seeing the outback by air, how is that? Oh, such a vast country yeah. in such a short time. Mm -hmm. If you're time strapped, that's it. You've got to do it. An experience. I will treasure for a lifetime. The trip of a lifetime. Trip of a lifetime. Yes, <laughs> go. 
and Outback Sunset is the stunning finale to our three-day adventure. Drinks around a desert fire as the sun slinks off to the other side of the world. Two states, five iconic Outback towns, more than 3,000 kilometres all in three days in our own private aircraft, Outback by Air. This has been truly amazing, hasn't it, guys? Yeah. Woo! Another drink. See the Australian Outback like you've never seen it before. For all the info on this incredible experience, visit outbackbyair.com.au.